Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome and thanks very much for joining us here at VBL. Now coming up is a workshop uh, with a friend and colleague of mine, uh, the great guitarist Ulrich Elbra. Now Ulrich and I have been teaching at Leeds College of Music for quite a few years now actually. Um, we've been playing uh, countless great gigs together and right now we're going to discuss some advanced concepts and options uh, for your bass lines over the uh, jazz blues chord progression. I've also transcribed the examples for this workshop, so uh, feel free to get in touch with us via the email up here, mail at rolltimesbasslines.com, and I'll be happy to send you the uh, link to download the uh, sheet music and the uh, play-alongs as well. Okay, and that way uh, you'll be able to take full advantage of this uh, video here and um, utilize the, the concepts that we are talking about and build them into your playing much quicker. By the way, your email will be kept confidential and I promise we won't annoy you with any frequent mailers or anything like that. It is simply the easiest way for us right now to give you this information, to give you these resources while our website zoltansbasslines.com is still in the works. All right, well, without any further ado, let's get straight into it and we truly hope uh, that you will enjoy and benefit from the uh, workshop coming up next. Okay, so let's carry on to some other options here. Um, to get to get to some nice little bass lines here and um, I'd like to talk to you about a real nice traditional bass line concept here which is basically um, connecting chords within a with a scale which means you will still actually uh, be playing your chord tones some of your chord tones because they'll be part of the scale but in this way you get a nice bass line and also you start to be a, a little bit uh, more free from just only playing the harmony notes here. So your bass lines will start to sound a little more uh, melodic here. Okay, and um, let me just demonstrate that just between the F7 and the B flat 7 chord, so the, the first two chords of, of, the, uh, of the blues here. Okay, so basically what I mean is, uh, let's say we'll start on this F chord here. And to get us up to the B flat, yeah, we're just going to go with an F, a G, now I'm also going to use an A flat, which is a chromatic passing tone between the G and the A, because I needed the four notes to play. Okay, and then we'll be arriving onto the B flat. Okay, and this is a real nice old traditional bass line, uh, a very effective one, and I like to use this kind of line a lot because it, it has direction. It goes from one place to the next very, uh, very precisely. You know, you, you've got a, a, an exact upward motion or a downward motion with these kind of lines. Okay. And now uh, another way to do that, we use that chromatic passing tone in between to get that four, that get those four notes into that bar. Okay. But let's say if I if I won't use that A flat, that chromatic passing tone, then I could just go with an F, a, a G, an A, and maybe go up to the fifth, to the C that's another option to, uh, to use anyways, you know. And that's another nice little line. F, G, A, C, and B flat, like that. Oh, it's great to have you here, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, those are, um, that's a real nice way to, to go about uh, taking your chord from one chord to the next, taking your line from one chord to the next, okay? Um, there are a couple of ways anyways. And um, another way, both these times we were going upwards, so we were ascending. Now let's see if we actually descend, if we, if we go the other way. So I'm going to use the F chord again to the B flat. And I need four notes. So I'm just going to uh, simply come down with the scale, with the F7, F Mixtolydian scale. So chubby. Three, four, F, E flat, D, C, and it leads you perfectly down to that four chord really well i mean it's it, it not i mean it's it couldn't really be any more um evident or any any more uh, clear i think yeah, yeah very straightforward yeah. yeah so that kind of thing and also when you have in uh in the blues there are there are a couple of places in the fifth and sixth bar you've got the four chord uh for two uh for two bars and when that's the case you can actually just play the scale even just as a scale up and down so from the B flat, three, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, or in a way, in ways of maybe making it into a run of a, um, a certain um, uh, interval, let's say thirds. And then back to the F, and so on and so on. There are so many different ways to do that. But um, 
Also, um, you can start to use chromatic passing tones again, or even chromatic guide tones. That if you, for example, if you go up. Now, I, I need one more note here to get me back to that F chord. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a guide tone, this E here, to get me back to the F chord. Okay, so check out this line. One, two, three, four, B flat. Tone, and now we're back to the F chord, okay? And so on and so on. And so you can apply these kind of concepts throughout the whole of the chorus, really, you know, uh, to your G minor, to your C7 chord, all the different chords that you have in there. You can see and figure out if you have enough notes to go just with the scale or if you maybe need to um, use a, uh, some kind of a guide tone or an approach note or a passing tone, you know, a chromatic note that, that will become um, a note that will lead uh, between two notes between your let's say your your second and the third note here from the F chord F G A A flat A for example you know that kind of thing or let's say on the way down on the F chord F E flat D B flat C and a guide tone the B natural to get the guide you down to the um, to the B flat chord yeah those kind of things uh, those are all very very nice and very substantial. Um, Ways and also ways that, that, that will start to free you up to get more and more um, melodic in your lines. Okay, so let me just play a line for you. Let me just play a whole chorus here um, and um, with, with our lovely guitarist Ulrich here. So we'll just uh, play exactly these kind of concepts. So let's just do it nice and slow so we can okay. really concentrate on these notes. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, like that. And I mean, that's just one chorus. That's just one option to go up and down with, with, uh, with your scales, you know, between the, uh, between the um, uh, chords themselves. Okay. And something happened in there. Uh, in one of the chords, I can't actually remember which one now, but I started on the third of the chord, which is just as well. Because I, as I came down on the scale, I used the third, the, the ninth, and the root, and also the seventh of that chord. So I used a lot of uh, substantial notes in, in that bar itself. So it was fine to, to, um, to start on the third because the rest of the notes did actually spell out what the chord was, essentially. Okay, I mean, that happens a lot, and I, I'm, I'm sure you, you're used to that uh, bass player. kind of not just starting on the root <coughs> note, but starting on different uh, notes of the chord. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Did, that, did that ever bother you, or do you think that's No, that's, that's fine? still very clear. In fact, I was about to ask these uh, going from one chord to, well, to the next chord, does it have to be from a root to the root, or could that be from the third to the third? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course you can, as as long as you um, describe what what ha what is happening in that chord, you know, uh, in in the rest of the bar. Yeah. Then yeah, uh, let's say if if we just play an F seven chord, if, if we just play an F seven chord. Sure. If I'm just gonna play an A all throughout the bar. Of course. Then yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, everybody will start to look at you and go, well, "What the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know, you're playing a wrong note." But if you actually start on that A, yeah. right and now let's go to the B flat chord, and now yeah. I'm starting that on the D, D on the third. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of the line yes. will describe yeah. that it's yes, it's a D C B flat. Yeah. So it's a it's a very clear D C B flat D. So root yeah. and, uh, third and root in there, and so that it's the context of your line that probably will allow you to start. We can start on any note really. Okay. The yeah. seventh maybe not the best idea. The seventh because the seventh is so close to the root that it could sound like you're actually playing the wrong note. To, to start with the, uh, the seventh. It's fine to use the seventh afterwards, you know, and definitely as the last note to connect you to the next, to the third of the next chord. That's a great worth leading combination anyways, but we just discussed that before. But so anyways, coming back to our line here, I mean, that was just one chorus, and um, I really recommend that you just kind of sit there with, with your bass and 
get get into these lines and, and just get your own combinations you know because you can go up you can go down you can go a whole bunch of different ways and just um, what I want you to do is trust your ears because your ears are your best um, uh, best friend here uh, your your best ally in music so your ears will tell you if what you're doing is is wrong right or wrong okay and and start to maybe if if uh, if at this point you can't really read music itself just take a sheet of paper and just write out notes you know just write an f a g a g sharp or an a flat a to b flat and so on and so on and then just kind of follow up what you've written because you will uh, you will find that in a lot of cases you can you can teach yourself you know once you know the concept so you you know that you're using your scales up and down from chord to chord and also you can start on different chords you can start on the on the fifth on the third coming down to another fifth and another third of the of the next chord as long as you're playing some other notes in that bar of that chord that will describe that chord okay all right you guys thanks a lot i think we'll stop here and that's a whole bunch to know about bass lines actually by the way now um, and if you start to know these kind of things and play them play them in standards in the blues you'll start to get a whole bunch of uh, fingerboard knowledge as well and and real great um, um, uh, harmonic knowledge as well okay so um I think we'll do another one of these and we're going to go into a bit more melodic uh, ways of, of, of playing bass lines. But for now, thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.